Hey everyone, do you remember way back in the beginning my cover? Well, I think we're going to sew some pages in now. As you remember, we did the lining for the cover and I didn't decorate it or anything because I want to sew my pages onto this and then sew these together. So, here is what I have planned, and I guess we're going to kind of work on this together and make sure it works, is I have taken some of my pages. These are some that we've done in the Build-A-Book, and I'll take this one. This one is stitched down the center, but if they're not, what I did is I closed it and just lightly ran a pencil down there. And it leaves me a nice little pencil mark. I've also done it on this one and on this one. That kind of just gives me a guide to sew on, but anybody who sews with all this bulk and everything knows just because you got the lines doesn't mean it's going to work. Most of the time it usually doesn't. <laughs> Sorry, grabbed a ruler, made a lot of noise. So on the inside of my lining, I have marked where the spine is. And I just took a pencil, and I'm, I'm not being exact. I'm eyeballing approximately a quarter of an inch, and I'm drawing with my pencil a line. Now, you may not follow these lines, but at least it's got a guideline to get you through it. I plan on taking this over to the machine and lining this up um, down here and up here, clipping it, and then just sewing right down the middle. Then I can flip it over and do the next one. Now I have sewn pages in books before and I have found I have to use my zipper foot because after you've done several pages, it gets pretty bulky on this side, but you can put your zipper fit and run it down this side. So that is what we've got planned. That's how I'm hoping this will work. I'm gonna go over to the sewing machine and try it now. And if it works, I will make a video. If it doesn't, we will have to figure out a different way to put these in. I know there are other ways. This just seemed to be the easiest and the fastest, and it's gonna be my first try. Thanks. Okay, here goes. Trying to set this up, I broke my little tripod. So I had to use the big one and you can see the sewing machine with it. So we have the basic little non-slip stuff and nice prop. So let's hope this stays together. What I've done is I have taken my page and lined it up with the line I drew on my inside cover top and bottom, clipped it with the handy dandy clothespins. I have these wonderful little sewing clips that work great when I'm sewing stuff, but um, they just weren't deep enough for this. So all I'm going to do is sew on that line, straight, simple stitch, um, the colored thread, it's not important to me because nobody's going to see it anywhere it is. So I'm just going to sew. I'm using a regular stitch and just sewing right down the middle and hoping that I have pretty much stayed on the line. And I have, luckily me. So, we. sorry about my hands getting in the way, ladies. That's the only way I could get this to work. And we're just going to hope that we don't knock the whole thing over. So I've taken the pins off, and there's my first page sewed in. Now I stayed pretty close down here. Up here I got a little off. It's not really going to be a big deal. Now I'm going to do the second page. And depending upon the thickness of your pages, you don't have to stay at a quarter of an inch. If you can get closer get closer. You know, um, right now this one is, you know, right next to it and it's just a, a ways off of the line. 
I'm sorry, this is just really not a very good video. So I will see what I can do, see if we can get better. Okay, I'm gonna show you right here is my drawn line that I drew with the pencil, and I have it clipped in place right at the seam line on the other on the other page. Right, right, right on it. I run my fingernail and I can feel the ridge. So it's not quite at a quarter of an inch, but it's pretty close. So I've put the zipper foot on so that I can get close to the seam and not have pressure over here and make it so all crazy. I also have an um, old fashioned uh, zipper foot. It's got a screw on the back and it slides it back and forth. So it's got all these different positions. The one that came with my wonderful little machine only has two positions. So this is a good thing. <laughs> And I'm just going to sew right down. And you can back stitch if you want. I don't usually. So we'll clip our threads. Take off our clips. Oh, I'm not a good thread clipper. And so I have the next page sewn in. So now I have two pages sewn in. I will continue to sew and I will come back and show you where I'm at. Okay, so I decided to go ahead and come back on here and show you a few more things that I have figured out. Um, when you sew something on and it's got a direction, make sure that you follow through and make all your pages go the same way. Actually, this one was upside down, and but I ripped out this one, and instead of ripping out two, we put them all in. Not that it's really going to matter. I just had kind of had my idea to have this one on the back, but now it's on the front. So, hey, no big deal. So, then I sewed in this one, and then I sewed in this one, just right down the seam. Well, then I thought, you know, I want to make sure this holds as many pages as possible. So I took these two sets of pages and I stitched them together. And if you can see, I didn't stay on my drawn line very well. I missed it by quite a bit, actually. But you know what? It holds up fine. It looks fine. So um, this is a little more difficult to get sewn in your book. So I thought maybe I would show you what I'm going to do with this one. I'm going to open it up and put it at a right angle as close to this as possible and centered in my page or my liner and I'm going to clamp it in place keep double checking to make sure that I'm as close as I can be And it just, I just kind of wanted you to see that, you know, we can make this work, hopefully, <laughs> if we just keep trying. And it happens to all of us. We all have to struggle to make things work sometimes. So I think we're in there okay. I'm not clamping this other side down because of the extra bulk. And so I'm going to kind of let this go through folded. I've got the zipper foot on. I have it on the right side. And I'm going to stitch right down. I have a great line here because I stitched the two pages together to begin with. And you need to be careful. <laughs> you do have a lot of bulk in there. That's what happens when you become a Speedy Gonzales sewer. 
So, let's see how bad I messed this up. So, take off the clothespin. And as you can see, because I did two rows of stitching, I tore my paper. That's really not a big deal. I'll just put some tape on it and pretend it was supposed to be that way. So these two pages are in very nice and close to that. You close it all up. It still works great. So even when you struggle and you have boo-boos, keep going. Because in the long run, it's all a learning experience. Okay, so I've got some pages sewed in. And I'm stopping here because I'm not sure what else I want to do, what pages I want in next. And as you can see, this one went in crooked. It's the one I sewed together. You can see where my mistakes are. But you know what? I think it'll be okay because I'm going to add to these and I'm going to put stuff in them and I'm going to sew stuff on them and glue stuff to them. So I think it'll be okay. So to... Sew this into our journal. I will take this and put it wrong sides together after all the pages are sewed in and I'll stitch around this and I will stitch around this. And it will be a little tight when you get down here towards where the pages are. But you can just kind of hold them up and run your machine. Um, you will have trouble with your ends, um, your spine. It's not going to want to stitch because a lot of your pages go right to the edge. So you can do um, some hand stitching on that when you're done. But then you will have this nice book already with the pages all in it and your spine is fine. You don't see any of your stitching or anything. It'll all be sewn in. So um, I will come back after I've sewn it in and show you what it looks like on another video because for now I want to make some more pages. I don't have enough to fill it and I don't want to sew it on until the pages are full. Thanks for following.